Yes? Their mission statement, okay, good. Exactly. Information about the about the company. What else? Read the press releases. I'm sorry. The press releases. Read the press releases. Why do I want to read the press releases? Exactly. I want to know what's going on in the organization. I'm looking for clues, right? I'm looking for changes in executive staff. I'm looking for new rollouts, new announcements that they're doing. What's the focus that, that, that's going on in the organization, okay? And why would I want to know that? So I can speak their language. Exactly. I want to speak their language. I want them to know that, number one, I've done my homework. And number two, I'm not just another person knocking on their door and saying, hey, give me a job. I'm actually someone who's taken the time and learned about the organization and know that I want to be a part of it, okay? What else? Anything else? I went and I looked up information about the people that are going to be interviewing me. I went and pulled them up, okay? Um, and I looked up their particular um, job that they have. Well, it's a, it's, a, it's a program that they have. It's an 18-month program called GROW, okay? So I pulled up as much information about that. Um, program as possible. So when I looked at that program, they listed the qualifications that they were looking for in a candidate, okay, for this program. So what I did was I went down their, their list of what they were looking for, and whatever they were looking for that I had, 
is what I put on my um, my cover letter. They said they wanted someone, they were looking for people with strong communication and social skills, strong analytical skills and conceptual abilities, strong English skills, um, that you had to graduate prior to July of the year that the uh, program began, no, prior to October. Okay, so I indicated, okay, I'm graduating in July prior to the October uh, program commencement. Um, also had to have above average grades, so I let them know I have a 3.7 GPA. Okay. Um, so what they said that they were looking for, what's the song you sing? Come on, what's the song? What you want, baby. Yeah. Exactly. What you want, baby, I got it. That's what I was trying to tell them, okay? So that's there, okay? All right. So, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to put something up there. on that door so people don't come. Okay, please make sure your phones are on off preferably. We'll have the interview and then afterwards I would appreciate if you guys take some notes, okay, about what you see. And afterwards, we'll kind of tear it apart, okay? We'll figure out what I did well, what I could have worked on, what I could do better, okay? We'll pull out the principles so that you know what you need to do and to be prepared for for your interview, okay? So we'll, okay. Be, we'll be telling you what we saw and what you did that we didn't like or whatever? Yes. Tell me what yeah, you like. Me. <laughs> <laughs> <Very Great. fresh. laughs> I'm not at all, so. Um, what what you think I did well and what you think I could have done better. He's gonna tell us what he thought I did well and what I could have done better. And maybe he will grace us with the opportunity to answer some questions if you guys have any questions for him. Okay? Sounds good? You ready? Okay, so please keep the conversation down. This recording is gonna pick up every one of your conversations, okay? So, keep that in mind, okay? And anybody that, everybody's gonna, anybody else that comes in there, come through, through that back door, so let's try and leave those spaces for them, okay? Let them come in. You do anything to come up, because there's gonna be probably at least four people that come in. in the next Where do you want them? Okay, would you mind, uh, well, would you, you wanna come and greet you from the door and then no. tell me where to sit? No, you just wanna be sitting there? Okay. Please do, have a seat there facing the door. My theory in interviewing is I always let the person be closest to the door in case they want to run. Okay. All right. You guys know who I am? She told you who I am. All right. She did, but not me. So you should tell me for the camera. Um, I'm the CEO for a division of DHL called uh, Global Customer Solutions. I represent. Uh, the Fortune 100 customers that DHL manages on a supply chain basis. So it's about $9 billion worth of revenue. So I represent all of the services that DHL manages, ocean and air freight, express packages, warehouse management, solutions, all that kind of stuff. And we put supply chain solutions together for customers and um, hopefully grow the business. 